Hey crafty friends, it's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and welcome to our What's New at the Doodlebug. So I'm coming on a little late today, and I apologize about that, but it's because I popped on live earlier to do a technique video that I have been wanting to do probably for two, three weeks now. It's kind of a running joke around here. I have this little bag that I take back and forth every night full of my to-do stuff. You know, all that stuff you think you're going to get done in the evening, and, and then you go home and, oh, life happens. So I have been carrying back and forth my um, wax seal kit from Spellbinders literally for three weeks now. Um, every night, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, I'll shoot a video tonight. Nope, I don't do it. So then I bring it back into the store the next day. Oh, I'll shoot a video the day when I get time. And it never happened. So today, um, because I was avoiding being in the office because it's close out 2022 tax stuff, um, and that's no fun. So I noticed that I'm very productive in other ways when I'm in when I'm avoiding something else. Um, I don't know if that's just me. If anybody else is like that too, but but yeah. So I was. I know what I was doing. I was just like, I need to do this video. I have put it off for too long because I am putting off my year in tax stuff, which I do not want to do. Ugh. But I got to get it done because we got to get our W twos out. Uh, but it's just, there's so much stuff to wrap up at the end of the year. So anyway, if you missed that video, it is right underneath this post. And we will also put it on our YouTube channel as well with little links and things like that. But I went through and I made some wax seals. Super fun. Super, super easy. Um, I did some oops seals so you could see that you can remelt those. We played around and hopefully, you know, if you go back and you watch it, I answer a lot of questions you may have because I had my list of questions um, when I first saw the wax seals and you know just you know can I do this can I do this can I do this so I, I try to do some of that stuff for you guys so check it out if you didn't catch me live earlier with that and then like I said you can catch it on replay and we'll also put it on our YouTube channel which may be where you're watching this video because um, this will go there as well too so Rebecca, I'm glad that you have that kind of work bag too. I tell you, I mean, I take stuff home all the time and I think, oh, I'm going to get so much done. And, and I get home and I'm just like, ooh, let, let's watch, let's, let's, you know, let's watch Netflix. Um, so yeah, I've been watching, um, what did I just finish? The Adams Family ones, uh, uh, Wednesday. So I just finished that one up. That one was really cute. So I don't watch a lot of TV, but it seems like if I start a program, it's kind of like when I read. So if I start a book, I can't put it down. Um, that's all that I do is I just like binge read, if that's a thing. Um, so same thing with me when I watch a Netflix show. It's like, oh my gosh, what happened next? What happens next? I don't know how I watched real TV back in the day when you had to wait a whole week to find out what happened next. Um, I'm horrible. I mean, I just, I'll do the whole season and it just, oh, yeah, it's bad. So anyway, um, that video, I, I rattle, I know that. So that video is here as well, right on Facebook or on YouTube, and should be the one right before this one. So you can check that out, learn a few things, and please ask questions there too, because um, hopefully I'll get the notifications. You can always tag me personally, and um, that kind of helps too. But I do, like if you comment on YouTube, I do get a little notification when I get comments there. So, all right, well, today, friends, I have a bunch of stuff again for you. So we got in another huge reorder from the distributor. I'm going to show you all of that and a ton in the basket yet. And then I also got in Dare to be Artsy. And I'm going to tell you the story about this whole stinking order. So this order had, um, I, I don't know if I wanted to sell well or not, but I'll get you the story here in a second. So um, Dare to be Artsy, the reason why I ordered this, as some of you may or may not know, we have have our card swap going on and I do those every few months so if you're not in the swap it's too late to sign up but sometimes I give you a theme sometimes I don't this time I was sitting on the couch and I was doing the the email for it one evening um, one Sunday evening we were watching football and I was just like oh so I'm gonna do the next upcoming three holidays I'm gonna do Valentine's Day I'm going to do St. Patrick's Day and winter, you know, because that's the theme going on right now. Well, so the guy I'm dating, BJ, who I've been dating for a couple of years, and you've, you've heard about him, he is a Groundhog's Day baby. So he was born on Groundhog's Day. So he's sitting there by me on the couch, and he's watching football, and I'm pretending to be interested. And he was just like, baby, 
where, where's the, where's the Groundhog's Day cards? I'm like, BJ, no one sends cards for Valentine's or for, for Groundhog's Day. He's like, what, what do you mean? He's like, it's the best holiday. And I'm just like, nobody even, I was like, I don't even think they make stamps for Groundhog's Day. He's like, oh, I bet they do. So, you know me, I have to Google everything. I don't know if you're like that, but whenever I start to feel like I'm, I could be right, I'm going to Google it just to see it. And, and it's part of its curiosity. So I Google and I find some Etsy stores that, you know, make their own stamps and they've got some little, little groundhogs. I find some really old stamps um, from like the days of yore that, you know, are going for, you know, crazy amounts or just they look super, super old because they're really old wood mount ones. And then I see these from Dare to be Artsy. And they are groundhog stamps. So you've got your little groundhogs here. And then they say, wishing you a happy day. Just saw my shadow, six more weeks of red wine. Sometimes you have to let life turn you upside down so you can learn to live right side up. Is it spring yet? Popping up to say, congratulations, I'm rooting for you, and happy birthday. So because I found these stamps, he just felt like they were going to be the best sellers ever. So we now have Groundhog's Day stamp sets um, or just a cute little stamp set with a groundhog. And he even asked the other day if they'd come in yet and if I had sold out of them yet because he feels that they are just going to be the best sellers ever. Um, so that was kind of funny. But anyway, it's called Groundhog Garden. If you are in the card swap and you haven't decided what to make yet, I do have a couple different options in here because I did get a winner one in here as well too. So those are your themes this time for the girls in the card swap. And, um, you know, it may just be fun to send someone that needs a little pick-me-up a Groundhog's Day card or, or maybe you have someone that actually is also a Groundhog's Day baby and they have a birthday on that day. So that is the reason why, the whole reason for this order right here. So we've got Groundhog Garden and then it also has a matching die set. This next one is called Wishing Comfort. Now there is another um, die set or stamp set that matches this die, but this one will match as well. So we've got Wishing Comfort and then it'll match Butterfly Inspiration. Okay. Then we've got Frosty Hello. So for those of you that may be doing a winter theme card for the card swap, this is a cute one. Snowmen are still in. Snowmen are totally in until what? March? Especially in Indiana. I know we've had snow and spring break before. So cute little Frosty Hello. It also has dyes to match. This next one is kind of a little series. So we've got this one here is called Perfect Blend. And Perfect Blend has a die set as well too, which I thought was so cute. So you've got this little coffee cup and then you've got Coffee Friends Perfect Blend. Less is more unless it's coffee. You warm my heart. May your coffee be strong and your Mondays be short. So cute. And then some little coffee beans and there is a die for the coffee bean there as well. So I thought that was a fun set. And then since I was, you know, on that page next to all the coffee was this set here called Coffee and Jesus. Coffee gets me started. God keeps me going. All I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus. May your cup runneth over with joy, love, and laughter. Oh, and really great coffee. Jesus and coffee. Amen. So there is coffee and Jesus. And then we've got tall, dark, and rich. This one here says coffee because it's too early for wine. I'm looking for a tall, dark, rich cup of coffee. I'm sorry for what I said before I had my coffee and, and want to hear a joke decaf. <laughs> I shouldn't even laugh at that. That's like a dad joke. That's cute too. So this one here, so these, not like they're a series, but they all kind of go together. And these are just fun little sayings that you could pretty much send to anybody, anytime. They also would be really cute on gift bags too. Whenever you're giving a gift, you make a cute little tag to put on there. And then the last one we've got is called Grateful, and it's just got some really good sentiments on it. So we've got a really big Grateful, Thankful, and Blessed. And then we've got little ones that say, So Sorry, Simply, I Am Truly, um, Heart is a Magnet for Miracles, Unbelievability, uh, for Your Hospitality, for Your Friendship, 
and so incredibly, so incredibly blessed, incredibly thankful, incredibly grateful. Um, a family like yours, so blessed. I am truly blessed to have a family like yours, to have a friend like you, to have you in my life. And then there's a thanks and for you. So lots of great combinations on this one as well, too. So that is our Dare to Be Artsy order. There was one more stamp. I don't even remember what it was, but it's on back order. And it goes with the song bird. So eventually I will be getting in that stamp as well. But right now I just got a little orphaned, orphan die set. So fun stuff there with Dare to Be Artsy. She is a small company out of um, Ohio. So I met her years and years ago. She, her name is Cindy that owns the, the business. And so she's just, you know, one of these that you're not going to find in the box stores. All right. Now let's start our order from the warehouse. Lots of fun stuff. So I'm always, um, always looking for new marker sets. And Tombow are just really good markers. And they put together some new sets. This one here is called 70s. So it does. It kind of reminds me of grandma's living room in the basement you know with the shag carpet and that wooden couch that everyone had with um, my grandma's was kind of like plaid the roughest material ever cushions on, on it but I know a lot of people had the one that had like you know some kind of brown scene on it or something like that so this one here is called 70s not to be outdone, we've got 80s, so obviously we've got nice, bright neon colors. And I was a child in the 90s, so I guess these are the colors that represent us. Um, they're just kind of a little bit of a mellow, you know, um, primary colors. I don't know. They're not grungy, I, I, so I don't know. But I guess since they did 70s and 80s, they had to throw a 90s in there as well. And Tombow markers have a nice brush tip on one end and then a writable tip on the other. Flip books. We got in some red six by eight flip books. And I did these because I saw the cutest little album um, that Simple Stories posted the other day on one of their reels. And that person did a little flip book and they cut the whole stinking thing down. It was so awesome. I loved it. I never would have thought to cut it down. So I thought that may be something kind of cool to do for a class um, and maybe in one of our kits that we do as well. Uh, let's see here, some organizational, totally Tiffany here. This one here is the, I think it's Karen. It doesn't say on here, but I think this is the Karen that comes with all the inserts. Oh, yeah, right here it says, one clear Karen buddy bag. But then you've also got the storage cards, the pockets, the labels, all the good stuff. So this one is perfect for storing your stamps and dies in here. Tim Holtz watercolor pencils are finally back in stock. We had some before Christmas, and then they, I think almost all of them sold through. And now we've got them back. So we've got set one, two, and three. If you're interested in individual sets like this first one I'm showing, this is set number two. They're all good. This one here. Flip book for you, Miss Debbie. Debbie. You got it. This one is set number three. So by process of elimination, I know this is set number one. But they've all got, somebody will be like, well, what set should I start with? You know, they did a really great job of kind of doing a good Roy G. Biv in each one. Um, I, I do, you know, I think we saw more two and three than, than one. But I don't know if, if that's necessarily, you know, I think it just depends. One does have the white in it, which is really cool. So, yeah, I, I don't know which one to recommend for you to start with if that was, you know, something kind of on your mind. Because they are all good. You can swipe all those, my dear. All right. Um, learn bouncy brush lettering. This is a fun little how-to book. Oh, the watercolor pencils. Great question, Diane. Those are $24.99 per set. Um, the bouncing brush lettering. So this on the inside has great little pages and tracing paper. So the tracing paper is in there. So then you can practice right kind of in the book on the tracing paper. And it starts you out with doing certain strokes and then it'll take you into making the letters and eventually words. So you kind of work through 
the book to learn that bouncy style. Doodlebug tote bags. I'll show you the one right here already put together. So I didn't take that one out of the bag yet. There we go. So Doodlebug has a striped bag, a polka dot bag, a daisy bag, and also a plain black one as well. Um, and we are now out of the daisy. We were out of the polka dot and had the other ones, um, and except for the black. I haven't gotten the black one in. I did not know how much of a call there would be for that one, but I can always get in black. So we've got dot now and stripe in stock, and I can always order the daisy. Glue sticks. These are crystal clear glue sticks, and I have got a fun little video I want to shoot with these. Uh, something that I saw the other day on how you can use them, so that's what we got those in for. But otherwise, they are just really good glue sticks for your hot glue guns. Now, this is kind of fun. So if you've got kids that come over or just, you know, you yourself, um, and you want to make some fun cookies, but you're like me and you can't bake, or you don't want to take the time to bake because you want to decorate cookies right now, and you don't want to let your sugar cookie dough set like overnight in the refrigerator because you don't plan ahead like me. So this one here is a Mickey Mouse Valentine's cookie set. So you've got cookies in here, you've got sprinkles, you've got glitters, and you even have bags of icing ready to go, and it's by Wilton. So what a fun little gift box that is. I get a fun little project box. Snap binders. I know we got some in the other day as well, too, so now we've got the teal back in. These were a special order for a Christmas gift, and I ordered extra, and luckily the Christmas gift ones did ship that we needed, and these were put on back order, and they just came in. So I think that there is a, like, dazzle marker or something like that that people keep seeing on Facebook, one of those ads, and people were coming in and looking for them. So what this does is it gives you a great silver marker, and then it has an outline around it. So you've got graphite, azure blue, citrus green, zesty yellow, amethyst purple, and neon pink that are going to be shadowing them. And I remember we had something like this when I was a kid, and I loved to play with them. They were my stepmoms, and it made her mad every single time because not, now not my stepmom I have now, not my stepmom Cheryl. Um, she would have let me play with them all day long because she is great. But uh, my other stepmom, she would get really mad. And I was little, too, and so I pushed too hard, and I made big, blobby messes with them and probably didn't clean my messes up. But I loved those markers. So it was kind of fun whenever somebody came in um, asking for them. And I looked up, and we could find something, too. So really, really fun for those. If you watched yesterday's live, we got in some new birthday stuff from Echo Park. Park, and apparently this was just one order behind it. You know, sometimes our stuff doesn't ship all together. So for the boy, we got the tags and frames, or frames and tags, because I read it but said it backwards, and then also the ephemera. Fun. And then the solid colors for the line. Same thing for the girl. We got in the solid colors for the line. We got in the frames and tags. And we got in the ephemera. Super fun colors too. This one here is just a restock. This was um, Simple Stories travel line from last year and it has been really popular so i just keep reordering it it is just it's fun it's kind of retro but not too retro um the colors are whimsy enough i actually have used this in part of the album that i'm working on for our texas trip that we took um over the summer or i guess was it spring summer i don't even remember when we went it was hot i know that but i think it's always hot in texas so i've used some of this paper line and love it so this is the sticker sheet from St Simple Stories. The line, if you're loving these colors and want to see more, the line is called Let's Go. And I know we do have quite a bit of it left um, in our online store and here in the store because I keep reordering it. All right, let's go through some of the fun stuff I've got in here. And then we've got a whole other table yet for you too. All right, so some of my classes that I am taking in my virtual trade show we are doing our 
own resin mold. <gasps> oh, sometimes there are things I should not try because then I'm like, oh my God, I'm so in love. Kind of like sometimes food. You shouldn't try certain foods because then you're going to love it and you're going to want it all the time. Or maybe it's not that good for you. Or, you know, um, it's kind of like me. If you saw my post last night with my bologna and cheese and egg sandwiches. Oh, my gosh. You know, just the thought of it, you know, may kind of gross some people out. Fried bologna and cheese and eggs as what I what we had for dinner last night is, you know, part of our dinner. And it's one of those things I wish I would have never had that because, you know, now I crave them sometimes. And it just... I don't even like the thought of bologna, but oh my gosh, yeah. So anyway, kind of a little bit different because this is not bad for me, but it's just one more thing I'm going to love now. So you get your resin, you mix your resin, and you can use all different kinds of stuff for molds. And you can use this for other things, not just your crafting, but jewelry making as well too. There's different kinds of resins. This one here is one that turns white and it cures in 10 minutes. So that was kind of why I chose this one to start off with because we like instant gratification. You know, I don't want to let it set overnight. Um, I want to play with it. So I've got in casting resin. I have molds. So I know what you're already thinking. Hannah, are you going to do a video with these and show us how to use them? You know I am. It will maybe be three months from now, but you know I am. Cannot wait to play with this stuff with you guys. Um, so this one here is called Blue Lagoon. Heather Hill. Sorry, these are waxes then that you can color this stuff with. I guess I should have explained that. So these are waxes. They're going to pick up all the fun little details in those molds. So we've got Blue Lagoon, Heather Hill. The waxes are nothing new for us. We've had Primo waxes in for a long time. These, I just kind of extended our selection. Emerald. They used to put these in little tins. And what would happen sometimes is the tins would mold. There's a beeswax in there and some other kind of stuff in there. And whenever your germs from your hands from dipping into the little tin, it would put bacteria in there and then you close it and it would it would grow in there. And then when you opened your tin up, it had fuzzy stuff in it. And I would just scrape the fuzzy stuff off and throw it away and continue to use my wax. But for some people that just kind of grossed them out. So now they come in these nice little tubes to where you can just kind of squirt out what you're wanting, okay? All right, so here's graphite. I don't know what all colors came in. Brushed iron, that one's really pretty. Emerald. So some of these may be repeating now. Let's just throw them out here. Brushed iron. Yep. Heather Hill. Yep. Blue Lagoon. So I think I showed you all my colors that I got. So cannot wait to play with those and show you guys those. And there are a few more molds in here as well, too. This one here is called Butterfly Flight. I did order some other than butterflies. So in case you're thinking all I ordered was butterflies, I did order other ones. A lot of them are on um, back order. It's kind of one of those hot, hot items right now. Um, now, these are also food safe. Now, I don't think you can do resin and then do your chocolates in them. But if you like to make soaps or chocolates, candies, things like that, just know um, that you can use these for those as well. For a soap, it's going to be pretty pretty shallow though so that may not work great but if you do chocolates candies you know things like that these would be fine for that as well too i just don't think that you can go back and forth between your chemicals and then your food um that's a big no-no so more molds there other fun stuff in here before i go to the other table this one here some jelly rolls this color set is called moonlight very fun. Um, the jelly rolls are neat because they will do light and dark paper. This here, I don't know what Leslie was looking up the other day, but whatever she was looking up on the distributor, this embossing folder was left on the screen. And I was just like, that is so stinking cute. So it's a 3D one. So it's going to be extra deep. You're going to get all those little details that you see. And it's super cute little tools. So perfect for some of those manlier cards that you want to make. If you're doing mixed media books, this will work in your mixed media books. Um, your scrapbook pages, you can, you know, emboss something and then use it as like a textured paper, as an accent. 
very, very fun. So this one here is called, it doesn't even say what its name is. 3D embossing folder. Well, come on, it's got to have a name. Mm -hmm. Nope, it does not say. But if you just tell me the tool embossing folder, I'm going to know exactly what you want. That's a great folder. It is a great folder, and I'm pulling one for you now. I'm putting it down by the stuff I've got for, for Debbie. Okay, another fun embossing folder that just came in. This is one from Studio Light, and it's a cut and emboss. So this one here is going to emboss this really pretty frame area, and then it's going to cut out this center section. This would, oh, you've got it, Debbie. This would even be a fun one for like mini book covers as well too. Scrapbook pages, oh, you could do a big frame on your scrapbook page. How pretty would that be? And then have the picture peeking through. So this one here, um, you want a tool folder too? All right, Miss Debbie, I, I don't know how many I had, but I'm gonna add them to the next order, okay? So Rebecca, I've got yours. Debbie Hayes, I've got yours. Debbie Meyer, you may be on the, the next order, okay? But yeah, so this one is definitely gonna be one of those crossover tools, meaning it's not gonna be just for your, your cards or just for your scrapbooks. This is definitely one that could go both, both ways. What a fun one. And that would be pretty, you know, hit with some wax or, you know, some ink on the top to hit those little highlighted edges, too. What else we got in here? Ooh, a fun little paper pad. I don't even remember ordering this little guy. This one's fun. Let's check him out. Okay. It is called... I love how nobody puts their names. I guess maybe just hello. I guess it's just the hello line. That's what we're going to call it. Just hello. So we've got some cute little cut aparts in here. But look at the backs. Really pretty. I'm not doing a great job of flipping. I bet I bought it because I just loved the backs so much. I bet so. Because the backs honestly speak to me more than the fronts do. Look how pretty those backs are. But that is gorgeous. This is cute. This is really cute. You can totally, you know, do those as little card fronts right there. Oh, but look at that back. That's a great back. Yeah, see, I think I probably picked this up because I just like the backs more so than the fronts. All right, that is the Hello Paper Pad is in my bag of goodies these here just some fun little say it in crystals from prima these are from julie nutting's line which julie nutting's lines are gone now and unless they continue just to keep making them but julie has retired rightfully so she's earned it she's had an amazing career so these are fun though you've got looks like almost the same shade of blue top and bottom and then a real pretty kind of pale blush pink and then a really pretty red in there, too. So those are the Julie Nutting crystals. Oh, we've got some graduation stuff on the other table. So I'm going to put this kind of over there with it, too. But we got a really cute little graduation hat stencil. Some more. Oh, these are really pretty here. Oh, yeah. And that's picking up great, too. So like this one here, it's got that real iridescent in there. They've got little gold flakes in there as well, too. And then you've got kind of a pinky blush and then a champagne in there. This one is called Magic Love. Again, another Prima set. These were part of Frank Garcia's line. Those are pretty. Uh, these here had sold out already, so we got them back in. These are just our glitter markers. They're the ones that had the shakers in them, too, so you're going to get super intense glitter in those. What else is in my bag of goodies? Ooh, more sparklies. More sparklies. This here has kind of got those gold ones in it too. A real pretty green color. That one's a little different. Nope, maybe that same blush. Lighter green and then a darker green. Really pretty set there. What else? That just repeats, repeats, repeats. 
repeat. And then some of our steel pins are in here as well too because we ran out of those already. Remember these are great for your precision pins, um, pin tops for your glues. You need to put a pin in there so it does not clog up. This one is fun because it's got a little eye hole at the top so you can make a little jangle charm to hang off of there so you can see it a little bit better and just so it's pretty. And then you want it to also be stainless steel. That way they do not rust into your glue. Okay, so got those. All right, so there is one set done. And let's jump around to the other side. Oh, here's from my video. So in case you missed my video earlier, this was the set that I used. And I did just put this guy away dirty. I'm going to see how, how it does, but it'll heat up just fine. And then these are some of, like, this was a color we made in the video. This was a mixing of the colors in the video. This was another little mixing of the colors in the video. And these are some of the ones that we made. Glue pins, you got it, Miss Debbie. So if you missed that video and you're like, ooh, tell me more, definitely check that out. But that was fun. Really, really fun. Right. And you can take any of that that you want now. I've got it all. I've got it all ready. Um, let's see, this was from yesterday's live. Acrylic blocks. So this one has one, two, three, four blocks in it. They've got a nice little beveled edge on the side for you. And look how big they are. So you've got a huge block, and they're all for $17. Acrylic blocks, for whatever reason, have gone up in price so much lately. Um, so this is still a really, really good deal on them. And I love that you've got all different sizes. And I like a big block, too, because a lot of times I use it for pressure and for drying things. And um, what did I use? I was using it on, oh, one of my classes that I'm doing with my virtual trade show. I used my big block for something that needed pressure on it. So it's multi-purpose. I love it. All right, next up, we've got some just new little, what I consider like fill-in papers from American Crafts. This one here is just a fun little stripe, a flower. Um, this one here, in case you're looking from online, 624434. And then we've got the flowers here. Here's a little bit of a different stripe. So this one was a diagonal start, and now we've got a vertical stripe. A little more retro y colors. Looks like the 90s colors from earlier. This one here would be more, I guess, the 80s. So we've got small hearts, and then kind of a larger heart pattern and then just a good little plaid. These are single-sided papers, so keep that in mind if you're looking at them whenever you get them in, or um, if you order them online, or if you're in the store, they are single-sided, which I do like for some things, um, especially if I'm wrapping things, covering things, I like single-sided paper a lot of times. And if I'm just doing layers, it does not matter. But you wouldn't want to use this as your card back. And if I was using it as my scrap of page back, I would want to mount it on like a piece of white, um, piece of black, whatever, just or a piece of thin chipboard, just something to give a little bit of oomph. But those are just some new little fill-in papers for around the store. Told you guys we needed red paper like crazy back there. So we got in Red Hots. We got in Peppermint. We got in ooh, more wax lips. Dang it, I just bought that. Well, shoot, we got a lot of wax lips now. Mars. Mars is a really good one. That's just a good red, red, red. And then this one here is called Marine. Um, it's not one you will find online, though, because it does not have a barcode on it. So if you love this color and you're shopping online, just order regular cardstock, and then you can tell me in the drop-down that you want that American Crafts Marine color. This is perfect for our local schools for Du Bois Jeeps. That's why we keep that one in. All right, so with some of our new graduation stuff that just came in. Hey, how are you? Good. Graduation stuff that just came in. Here are stencils. Here is a stamp set. I like this stamp set because some of them um, are dated, and this one is not. And usually when they're dated, they give you like four years. But, you know, sometimes we forget we have it for four years, and then our dates are no good. So this one you can write your own class of. Which would be so cute, too, if you have, like, a little preschool graduate, you know, class of what is that now, like, 20, 2032 or 35? I don't know. So, so fun. And you can do that because you've got all those little numbers in there. Congrats. You are rad. Class of. We are proud of you. Some cute little swirls there. So, there's that set. 
This one is the class of stamp set. And then this one here is great for insides and outside sentiments. Graduation hat stencil, you got it, Miss Debbie. This one here is called You Did It stamp set. It's got hip, hip, hooray, grad. You did it, graduate. Shine on and keep reaching for the stars. We are so proud of you, graduate. It's got a little diploma and, you know, kind of a little swirly gig there as well, too. Class of stamp, you got it. Ladies, thank you. Pulling those to the side. I appreciate that so much. A new little diamond dots. And you know, I, I didn't even get any comments from Journey yesterday. So I don't know if her phone got taken away or her battery is dead. Sometimes she loses her phone too, I think. Um, but two days in a row now, diamond dots. And I've heard nothing from her. So um, here is another diamond dot set for you, Miss Journey. This, again, is one that comes with a cute little box, so it kind of has its own little um, canvas, you know, so to speak. And it's called It's Raining Love. It's a cute one there. Well, there's that. This next one is called Art Options Avista. You guys, if you are normals, or if you're regulars for my lives, um, you have seen this one, and it does not make it out of the lives. I know that means I should probably start selling more or ordering more, but I keep thinking one of these days, you know, if I'm going to order four, I'm going to sit on three for like a year. I just know it because I've done that before. It's like I, I miss my miss my opportunity. I miss my window or I over, overshoot the window. This one here is a six by eight paper pad. So it's going to be great, you know, for your scrapbooks. It's going to be great, obviously, for your mini books because most mini books nowadays that are kind of pre-made are a six by eight or smaller. And then that way you can just cut it down to whatever size. But again, keep in mind for your handmade cards, these make perfect and beautiful card fronts. You can even fold these. Now, whenever you fold them, they are going to be a six by four. So if you want, you know, you can always cut it down just a little bit if you are trying to get, you know, closer to that A2 size. But so pretty. I flip through these. Okay, that beautiful right there. I mean, that's just a beautiful card. Little sentiment on there. Either stamp it, die cut it, pop it up. Did you get him taken care of okay? Emily. Yeah. Did you get him okay? Awesome. Good job, kiddo. So my friend Amanda, her daughter Emily, is working in here a couple nights, so I don't have to work every night till 6. So it's super nice. So she's been having some alone time on the cash register recently, and she is nailing it. She's doing really good. Um, this, all right, so these here, if you watched some of the items that I've posted that I've gotten done for my virtual trade show. This was one of the sets that I used in yesterday's Sizzix class that I posted, the one where I was brayering. And I told you, I remember, you know, forgot how much I love to brayer, but this was the die set that I used. Super cute. This was the stamp set that I used. So it's got really really dainty ones i mean they stamp beautifully though but they're nice and thin i kind of like that just that real subtle touch on the bottom um let your dreams blossom you are my sunshine life's showers brings love's flowers stay wild you're one of a kind sending blooms your way a couple little flowers and a field of daisies be a wild flower i love that um live life in full bloom so there's that set there it is called Spring Bloom Sentiments. And here is another embossing folder. This is a really deep one, a nice 3D one. This is the one that I used for my brayer tag that I did. And then this was the one that was on my other cards, if you saw that post. And if not, and you're wondering what I'm talking about, um, I think I posted on the regular page, but I know I put it in the dish as well, too. Sometimes I put it in both of them. So these were the ones that I had used on that, those cards and tags. This one here is called Delicate Leaves. So pretty. And then this one here, I forgot to tell you what its name was, Palm Repeat. And it was neat. Like, at first I was just like, eh, I don't know about this one. But once I saw it on my project, I really, really liked this one, too. 
So, so all right. Whew. Okay, guys, so we had a distributor order today. We had Dare to be Artsy today, and we did a technique video today. And I avoided some taxes today, but I did do payroll. That was important. Um, I got a few things done in the, in the office, so I didn't avoid everything. I just needed to get out of there a little bit as well, too. So, all right. And then coming up tomorrow, let me think here. So tomorrow, I, mean, I know we've got another, we've got another distributor order up there. I run my hands through my hair while I'm, while I'm videoing. And then I turn the video back on me. I look like a ragamuffin. Yep. My, as my mother would say, Hannah Marie, did you even brush your hair today? I did. I really did. Um, so I know we've got a distributor order up there with lots of good stuff in it that we're working on. Oh, and um, Pink and Main. Pink and Main, guys. So that is going to be in tomorrow's video. And there are card kits in Pink and Main for Valentine's Day. So you are going to want to see that one tomorrow um, because you guys love the Pink and Main card kits. So... Um, those are going to be in there tomorrow, and then some really, really stinking cute Valentine's Day stamps are in there. Some winter stamps are in there, too, and and my rep for that company, because she's amazing, and I order through her, um, she sends me samples. So she made me some samples already, and they got here today, too. So yes, Tanya, you are going to love the car kids. I know you like those. So that'll be in tomorrow's live. So I'm kind of looking around to make sure I didn't miss anything. I don't think I did. So all right, everybody, until next time, I am Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. Thanks so much for popping on and joining me live or catching me on the replay. And as always, if there's anything you've seen in the video that you just love, you can put it in the comments. You know we got it pulled for you whenever we tag you back with a got it. So if you don't get a got it, let us know that we missed your order because Sometimes Facebook does not like the so Now there's a double chin. Don't look. Don't look. My finger was there. There's a double chin going on. Um, so sometimes Facebook does not tell us whenever you comment, um, and we don't want to miss it. So um, we'll we'll tag you back. You can also send me a message through Messenger. That works as well too. Um, sometimes if it's in the evening, I will see it, but I won't comment because then it, the notification goes away. And I forget to take care of it the next day. And I need to always take care of it. So um, anyway, but you can do any of those and they work for us. So until next time, everybody, thank you so much. Have a great evening and I'll see you soon. Bye.